separation purposes. But you simply depress the first stage of the foot pedal. You'll notice the head comes up, ST1 comes on, and it's going to hold there until I come in, make the second stage. You'll hear the motor kick on, everything starts turning and, and going. Once it's made a full revolution, release the foot switch, everything stops, and we're done there. Now it is important to note, it's going to go and stop according to the foot switch, not on the degree of rotation. So if you need to do a full 360 degree weld, you need to be sure and stand on the foot switch for 360 degrees. If I release it too soon, obviously I just make, say, 180 degrees of weld. Okay, now again, we've seen everything rotate. Again, just to go over the adjustments of the machine, you notice there's two brass bolts here in the center. If you loosen these two bolts up, this entire lower tooling can move back and forth as well as a little side to side. This is again adjustment to make sure that your center lines of the axle for the seam welder and the lower tooling line up. Again, you've got adjustment on the upper head here by loosening these four bolts to give you the diameter of the actual weld circle you want to make. You'll notice here on the sides of the head, on both sides, you've got three bolts. Off these three bolts, you simply loosen up the three on each side and slide it forward and back again to adjust your position of the center line, as well as the two back actually have adjustment to actually twist it side to side to give you that final adjustment. Anytime you're adjusting the head, you need to be sure and loosen up the four bolts down here. This will give you the room to move the head back and forth to give you that adjustment. Finally, the machine is isolated.